It's a victory for Mohamed Oud Razwani. The ruling party candidate took 52% of the vote in Mauritania's presidential elections, avoiding a runoff with a win outright, though one not free from accusations of foul play. Several hours before it was made official by the Seni Electoral Commission, Razwani had declared himself the winner, sparking an immediate backlash amongst parts of the population and from opposition candidates. Biram Da Abaid, who took 18.5% of the vote, and Sidi Mohamed Oul Bobaka, with 17.8, both complained of voting irregularities, despite Seni reporting no major problems. Yesterday, in the early afternoon, we noticed irregularities that have created a post-election crisis, irregularities that confiscated the victory and hope of the people of Mauritania. Earlier this year, they'd seen a request for foreign observers to oversee the election rejected by authorities. Now the two, along with other opposition leaders, promised to contest Sunday's results, throwing into doubt the first democratic handover of power since Mauritania's independence from France in 1960. The former French colony has a long history of military coups. Outgoing President Mohamed Ould Abdelaziz first seized power in 2008, won an election a year later, and was re-elected in 2014 in a vote boycotted by the opposition. Aziz backed Razwani in these elections. The new president will be looking to carry on the work of his predecessor in maintaining stability in the country.